Hello and welcome back to KGS. Today we got an 8K versus 9K. I am white again. Tried finding a game on KGS, but unfortunately, did I say Thai Gem or KGS? I meant Thai Gem if I said KGS. Tried finding a game on Thai Gem, but uh, let's just do a 4 4, I guess. Allows you to approach first, but you're making an enclosure. Um, this enclosure wants to jump here, so if I extend, but I'd rather get a, an enclosure of my own facing your stuff, so that if you extend here, I will extend here. Very peaceful. That's kind of far, actually. This kind of forces that, so I kind of want to invade. Um, something like... The invasions here work really well, um, so let's do this first. I want to see what he does. Um, so he is that, which means I can What does that mean again? Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, if he pulls back here, I can do that. But if he does this, this is a little bit more aggressive. And so if I go here, he can go here. I can turn and then jump. Or should I go all the way over here first to see what he does? So then I can get an attack on this. Yes? Does that make sense? <clears throat> this to that to this. So I don't want I don't want to let you get that, so I'd rather foot sweep you. Yes. And then you're all concentrated. Um this means that he can approach from the other side and then I am really cramped. Um if I kick him. Does it do anything? What if I kick him? What are the moves do I have? I have this one. It's still open to the side. No matter what I do against this stuff, it's open to the side. If I do this, he can approach here and then do this. And then he can be the one to come back and attack this. And I don't really want that. I want him to respond to me. So I'm going to do this. And if he pushes and forces me to connect, that's fine. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually not going to respond to that one. I want to... Yeah, let's do that, okay. Again, this is open to a move over here. But I want to see what he does. Because now this is over-concentrated. So you are attacking me like that. Um, a diagonal move here prevents him from linking up and it also puts him under attack which is kind of what I want this is a lot more solid than just the standard two space but um, does that work you can push and try cutting and I kind of want to attach and lean on here, but I want to also help this corner out. So let's just jump. This now sets up this um, attachment, which should be really good to push through. So that's what this move is doing. And so we'll see what he does. Behind is I'll just make a table shape. And then I'll pull this out. Now this um, sets up a push and cut here. I can actually cut here now. Um, that does this. If he pushes, I can do this. And then he can get that Atari. Um, If he cuts, um, does this, and then this stuff becomes under attack. So I'm going to jump. This is also setting up this cut here, which means that he can do this Atari and then fix, forcing me to fix. So he's doing that directly. I will peep at it for the hell of it. 
This is a, a peep probe move, whatever, so I don't really care if it lives or dies. This goes to that, this goes to that, that's still fine. Um, this threatens this. I can also lean on this. Um, Knight's move is not advised. Um, this one, he can do this. If he pushes and Ataris, I can Atari and actually connect up with that stone. Okay. Let's do that. We will see what he does. This is still open on the side, I understand. Um, I want to get an extension here coming up soon, but I want to settle this group first. After I settle this, so are you going to Atari that? No, you're not. Okay. That means I can pull this out, but I don't really want to. I kind of want to go here. Battery just got done charging. Okay. Um, I can attach here if he honeys, then I can do this. Meanwhile, I'm just solidifying him. If I attach under here, <clears throat> he can cut me off there. I can Atari, Atari, and then I have two weak groups again. Actually, I would Atari and then uh, cut this off. If I, yeah, if, if he does this, that is, and he cuts me out with Atari, um, go up Atari again, and actually then cut this off. What else can he do? He can do this one, which goes to this, which goes to that. He then solidifies. Actually, if he does that, I'll pull back directly. Um, if he does this, I will go here, poking at that. Or cut there directly. If he goes here, I do this. If he pokes there, then I do this cut because then I can capture that stone. Okay. What else does he have available? <clears throat> the dangerous thing is for me to, to honey here um, and I'll be able to actually connect up underneath take his base. Um, like I said, if he pokes here, that's fine. I will do that to cut these stones off. He then has all this influence. Okay. Um, another question I have is that um, I might end up giving these stones up, unfortunately. Actually, no, it's still to the outside. So Let's pull back, which means that I can now cut here. You then need to <clears throat> I think I'm being greedy. <laughs> um, so this, if he then connects, then I cut. I should cut directly. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> This is why you do not play three games in a row. You start doing weird, weird stuff. I mean, this guy only has three liberties and he can't push here, so. He can get this move for free, but, um, yeah. And I, I was going to say, if he, if he cuts there, I'm actually going to ignore that, I think. Because with this cut, he can capture and I can do this. If he cuts here, I fix. Uh, if I, what am I doing? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're in crazy mode, so let's let's do it. Um, this then allows me to connect that either way, so then I can attack this stuff now. Uh, if he cuts this, I will connect. And then I'm down to two liberties. You know what? I can't do that. Um, because this stuff is too weak. If I save this stone now, he can do this move and then that move. So I actually need to take a liberty off of this stuff first. 
Um, this is better than this one because it gives takes away this forcing move of his, so let's do that. Now I can come back and do that, but now he can Atari this or something. Or capture, that's fine. Um, now if he does this, I can always just Atari this. If he descends, I do that myself. And then this to that, so this is now fine. I can descend here, it doesn't do anything. Um, let's take a big point or approach. I think approaching is better. Approaching over here helps this stuff. Approaching over here works to build with this. I can also take a big extension over here. I need to limit this influence. Whoa. What is that? That is so weird. What? <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen that move in response. And you thought I was on crazy pills. <laughs> okay, so you are... You're going to be that way, aren't you? Um, armpit hit a fourth line stone. Not my... I want to keep it separate from this stuff, though. I can honey here, yes? No, no. I don't want to honey. So now you're jumping. What if I lean on you some more? Um, I can get one of these two moves for free and then I can do something like this. This to that because he can't push through then. This forces that. It damages this, I understand. Um, but then it lets me get a little bit ahead on this side, at least. Also threatens to do this, um, to connect with that. So when I do this, he can actually wedge in here directly. I can Atari, and then, uh, if he connects, I can connect. And then I'm ahead of this again, but I don't really want to do that yet. So what I need to do is some sort of move to get ahead, like this, so that I can launch up. Now he can, of course, poke through here and connect up directly, which he may do just to be safe. Can I wedge? Wedge. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, this means I can connect. I can cut that off, but it's connected anyways, right? This, and then I can poke through. Okay. So this, uh, yeah, okay. Um, it's him taking the lesser two evils. Either save these and that, or save the stone. If he saves this stone, I can actually push up and through and cut, and then the running fight is continuing on. Or I can cut this stone off, and he is going to save it. Okay. Okay. So the running fight is still going on. Um, jump doesn't really, I don't want to jump. <clears throat> I can poke here. Uh, I want to keep them separate though. So let's, uh, let's see if I do a couple more moves like this and then jump here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's attack from this side, allow him to like connect. And then after this, I'm actually gonna approach on this side and start attacking this stuff. Um, so that's all that was for. And then let's do this. <clears throat> Cause this is a really strange move. I don't know if that was a misclick or what, but. I'm gonna force him to live small, take Sente and then take a giant move. This is terrible shape with this stone. Two large knights. 
but I want to get it a little bit away from this stone here. Help this. My next move is going to be to go in here. So he needs to invade here right now. And this is still kind of weird. Um, like I can get this peep at that. If it does anything else, I can Atari that and kill it. So that peep to this move. And this corner is looking pretty dead. I just have to actually work to surround it. Okay, so you are going there. Um, I want to push you towards my strength. So you can either get a one stone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and now I will do a capping move on this side. Or capping move on this side. This side I can then use to build up this, I think, or I can just start attacking it. You know what? I'm not going to attack it right now. I'm going to take a big extension. You're invading... Okay, so this is a kind of halfway between two things. It's not that great because of that. Um, I also have this extension over here. So I'm going to first... I don't want to take that first. I want to push him towards that, I guess. This threatens the cap, so he needs to jump, which allows me to get this knight's move in. So I will take this move first. This is threatening the cap, so he doesn't want that. So he does a knight's move here. I will simply jump then. I'm just doing a quick tally of my points. There's some in the corner. There's some in this corner, but it's still not... Very good. Um, that is not a good move. Um, if I do this knight, uh, this now, I can do this knight. You can try pushing and cutting, but... So I want to cap this first. Unfortunately, my stones are a little bit too far to really do anything to that. Um, because this one can lean and, um, do that. That's fine. So this is the better one. It also shoulder hits this. Um, is that anything? I also have um, this move as well. But let's just be solid. I also have kind of terrible shape here, so okay. But you can't cut. You you can cut and get a free forcing move. Um. Now the cut is a thing, yes. But I also have this poke here, so you can't actually connect. Or not the cut, um, sorry, this, this connect. So you can get halfway out. But because of this stone, I can either uh, poke, and then if you try capping, I can cut. Um, and then if you try wedging... Is that Atari? I think that is Atari then. So you can wedge and Atari again to get out that way and then attack the stone. Uh, so that may be the better answer. Um, okay. So like I said, connecting is probably the better answer here. You are undercut on both sides, which means I can now take your base with this move. Actually, hold on. If I push and then I cut. I'm just going to do a jump here to get ahead. There's this poke and then there's this push and cut. And then I have two separate groups. Okay, you are going to poke. Um, actually, I'm not worried about that poke. I can just do this. If you push up, I can do this. Yes, I can do that. This cut isn't anything. Uh, this, right? Poke that. No, poke this. 
Right? That's the move. There's that cut, yes. I tarry this. Um, I do this if you... Actually, I do this, right? Because if you cut, I can do this. If you try doing that, I can cut this off and... Oh, that's, that's, that's difficult. Um, this is the one I want. Because if you Atari, I connect. If you cover, I Atari, Atari. And then that's just captured. Okay. Um, now this kind of becomes a thing, but I can just do this and I'm fine. Because with that cut, I will ignore, or that cut, I will do this. Okay. Very precarious here. This, uh, these are cutting stones, so that's important. This is a pretty flimsy shape, though. This group is a lot bigger than that, of course. Um, I will respond with this move. This also helps me seal in his corner. And if he does this move, then I can do this Atari and then connect. Um, actually, if he does this move, I'll probably just connect. Or get this Atari and then connect. So this stuff is connected to that, that's nice. Um, he can get this move and then get some stuff. I can also pull this out. It's a knight's move, which can be cut, of course. Um, I think I want to take your base. But I should probably respond to that attachment, shouldn't I? This, he can poke and then do this. So I don't want to do that. I want to do this. You can lean on this and then wedge. So if he leans on this, I need to um, get this Atari in. No, that doesn't work. Very precarious. Um, if he does this, um, I can do this, right? Or this? I'm still connected. No, no, shoot. This makes me connected. If I poke here first, can he cut me off? He can go boom ba dum ba dum Yes, he can. So I need to respond. That's the weakness in the trapezoid shape is like that stone. All right, so I can, uh, let's see, he can clamp now. Does this move work? I'm not really trying to kill his group. I don't, um, like if he clamps, I will give that up. I don't mind. I want to attack this stuff. That's what I want to do. I mean, if I just, um, get a move like this, then he can't Atari this. He can Atari this, of course. Uh, but with this, I can start attacking this. That's what I want to do. Let's do this. Let's attack this stuff up here. I'll leave this alone for now. Go ahead, have it. Have fun. I want to attack this stuff. You can still get this Atari in and uh, get this Atari in and get a few free leaning, forcing move things. So it is still pretty strong, but. <clears throat> I can save this stone that becomes a false eye <laughs> that's a big if of course but this is a real eye <sighs> that really just limits your own liberty by doing that you can throw in then I have oh interesting so you can if you go this move and then that move are you giving those stones up is that what you're doing? Uh, what's a good move? This one? That solidifies a lot. I'm still looking at this throw in here because then he can actually um, throw in and then Atari this. I can't connect that self Atari. So this throw-in is a big problem for me, actually. Um, boom, ba -dum. 
I can push and cut. He would have to go like this, and then I can get a running fight in here. This is still a big issue, though. I really need to take care of it. Um, just play the bluffing game and not worry about it for now. <laughs> is that what I'm going to do? Because um, he can't do that. I can just cut here. Actually, if he would cut there, um, I would probably just connect here. Alright, so you cover me, that's fine. I can now push here. Which means then I can get this move for free. To make sure I have an eye. Uh, this group, I, I, I do gotta pay attention to, because it, its eye space can be reduced pretty significantly. This goes to that, of course. Um, I kind of want to start extending here, though, but I really feel like I need to... Can this group be killed, is the next question. I think it has way too much eye space. So if he end up, if he does end up cutting here, I'll just connect and I won't worry about it. If he cuts here, if he throws in, I'll just do that, so that's fine. I'll take an extension, though. Small extension. Start taking points, and then I can get this cap. All right, um, I can push, or I can jump. This wedge. I'll just jump. Um, if you poke here, I'll do this because I can always let's just uh, start solidifying territory guys I should really work to do something around here though um, and if I get a chance I will be doing that all right so you connected against that um, I'm thinking this stuff is bigger though so I'm gonna poke once here this is really small um, but it means that he can't do this I'm gonna do this doesn't even guarantee me an eye, unfortunately, though, because of this. Um, so what I want to do is... If he just sits on me, um, I'll do that. Then he's really low. Um, anything I do to help this group is going to hurt all the points in this corner. Which is unfortunate. Um, but required, probably. Um, I can attach here. I can also... I can't peep. I can attach. You can't wedge... So he has to back off, and then I can do this, which means I can get this Atari in, and... Right, so with this move I can do that. Okay. So this is all setting up uh, a cut here, and then I can attach, because... I think, right? That's what I want to do. We're basically going to endgame now. Um, this top side is going to get really big. Oh, dang, he took away my attachment, whole plan thing. Um, I can also start poking at this stuff, I guess. But I want to, I want to seal this off at first. Descending here, Atari, and then, um, and then doing a move like this to that. Ooh, shit. That was a misclick. I didn't want to do that right now. Oh, that was that was bad. I didn't want to do that. Um, but with this move, I can at least get rid of his eyes here, and then he has to fight. That's very sad. So this is uh, before I surrounded it. Always want to surround your group before attacking. I did not mean to click that. So now, if I have any chance, I need to do this, which means he can Atari this. But anyways, um, this threatens that, which means I can then get this move in, which is what I wanted. He can Atari that. And... So I messed that up. I wanted to surround him before doing this, but misclick. Uh, what happens if he goes here? Then I just Atari down and follow. And then once this guy is solidified, then I am going to do this one. So you're going to do that. You're going to let me get out, huh? 
What if I do this? Uh huh. So you guys are basically good to go then. Okay, that's nice. Now I want to. What am I worried about? I'm going to start solidifying this territory here. There is this clamp thing. Um, can I just attach here? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, th there is this attachment for him. But I think attaching for me is probably good too, right? Wedge goes to Atari and then I'll fix. This push goes to that. I have enough room for two eyes, right? Um, you don't want a monkey jump here. This move is too weak. I can actually do this one. Um, and if you try to keep the monkey jump together, I can Atari that down. So that's a good move there. So I'm solidifying this stuff. Uh, I still have to make life with this group yet. So the, this is now going to Ko if he wants. Um, he can cut. And actually, if he if he cuts, I'll capture. If he does this, I'll cut this one. If he captures back, I'll make an idone here. So it's not actually a Ko. If he cuts, I'll Atari. So you're going to do that. I don't care, you're alive anyways. I will just solidify this. And that may be too small for me anyways, but... Okay... So that's what I was expecting to happen. If you connected, then I would just do that. So, hooray. Okay, so this group is alive then. Okay, good. Now let's work to reduce this and solidify this. Um, what else can we do here? Where is his points? There's a little bit here. There's a couple here, a couple here. I think he's gonna gonna be struggling for points here. Just gotta not get cocky like the last two games and totally mess up. There is this capture. So now this group down here is alive on its own, and then whatever I can salvage and maintain connection with up here. I just gotta make sure that there isn't some sort of squeeze gonna happen. Okay, so we are going back to endgame. Um, there's this one which solidifies that. If I let him get it, uh, if I attach here, do this, do that, do this, do that, that solidifies that, and then I don't have to worry about that. If he pulls back, I will pull back with him. If he goes here, I will do the same. He can then push and cut. So let's do this attachment. Turns out I didn't. Turns out I didn't end up using this stone. I, I may not have done it correctly is the issue, but anyway. Uh, let's see. This wedge goes to that cut, and then he can actually do that. So I should probably respond here, or I can cut. Ooh, this looks interesting. Yeah, let's just be safe. I think I'm plenty far ahead. As long as I don't make a big mistake. Um, what did I say? This goes to that. He can cut. Uh, what did I say? What did I say? This goes to that. Okay. Originally I said this one, but since I've got this stuff for forcing this cut, I'm going to block on this side. 
if he Atari's this. I should uh, preface that I'm far enough ahead so long as these three stones don't become anything. Whoops. That was... And also I don't get Comey again. So that's a false eye. I'm just wondering if I can set up any sort of squeeze or anything like that. This is down to one excess liberty, so if he starts taking it, I need to Atari and start doing that sort of thing. Okay, so you're blocking me from coming in. That's nice. This is Sente. Um, you can't actually block there because I can cut. And... Ooh, there's some interesting stuff going on. This, if he Hanes, I will Atari... Atari, Atari, so this one he actually has to back off on. Um, I might try saving that if he cuts. Oh, I can't do that because if I should do this, I should do like this as well. This makes a lot of issues go away. Because then, I, then he, if he throw his, throws in, I can do that. So that prevents the throw in as well as that. This also makes sure that he can't do much with this. This means he can't get that point, so that actually does quite a bit as well. But I think for stability of this whole thing, this is pretty good. This is a sente move for him. That's gote for both of us. That's sente dame. That's sente... Uh, that's two points. That's not big enough. This is bigger. Like This is big, too. Um, can I attach here? No, I can't. I can poke. Poke, poop, poke. And then if, I, if he ever takes one of these two, then I can... This clamp's kind of a problem. That's pretty big. It's gote for him, but this is reverse sente. This is a point in gote. This is gote. That's that. That's that. Oh, that's I can't. I cannot actually do that. So. Um, this is a point, this is a point. This is a reverse sente, so I should probably do this one first. Is there any other sente sente moves? This sets up this attachment. Which, uh, pokes out this eye, this. Goes to that. I'm fine. What, what, what did I just read? Oh, this descent. This descent sets up this attachment. Which means goes to this, goes to that. Um, it makes it a false eye. So if he captures, I can actually come on this side then. Um, this also is pretty big, I think. Yeah, if I'm going to do this later, I might as well do this now. How much time do I got? A minute 40? Okay. I'm going to think a little bit. I've got to think of a plan of attack here. Like I said, this is reverse sente, so maybe I should do that. It's worth four points in sente. Or reverse sente. Well, two points and then minus two. Um, I can also, well, if I do this, this is actually really bad for me, so. Um, if he pushes up here first and then does this, that's a big deal. Um, 
So this limits the reversente ish and it also helps this stuff a lot. So I'm gonna do this. Because if you push this up there and I extend, then this um, takes even more points. Because I can't Hana here because he can um, Atari, Atari dead. So with this, I need to do this. He can get one more free forcing move if he wants. And he should take it now because it's pretty big. Um, so I'll capture. This is now Sente, so you should do this one next. Is there any other big Sente moves for him? <laughs> so his points are coming from this giant area here. Uh, a few here, a few here. I said this doesn't work, right? Um, if you cap, I just capture because I did this move, right? Yes. because <clears throat> this goes to that if you save that it's still Atari um, if you do this one I may do this one alright so now this becomes Atari for him so if I do this that prevents both actually this is free do this because that now becomes Atari either way <clears throat> and again limits the potential of this in case he decides to try and live with that okay um, is this anything I can Atari that and it's not if he pokes here I'll just connect okay so it's back to my sente um, this to that to this I can what was I looking at before that what was I trying to set up this is big I guess two points uh, there's this reverse sente as well and actually on that one you have to respond though don't you all right I am in Buyomi so I'll take whatever free moves I can get this is reverse sente so I'll take that What else? What else? What else? This is a very precarious situation over here. Just barely hanging on. Okay, so I can respond. I can throw in and respond, but it doesn't do anything. He has plenty of eye space. Um, if he goes again, I can do this. Um, so that's one point in Gote. This descent sets up some good stuff, though. Um, I think I want to deal with this clamp, too. So let's just do this. <clears throat> I'm being very defensive here. This, I can now block because he can't do this. I should throw in first and then do this, probably. Um, if I do that, he can actually just uh, extend. I can do this, then he can capture. I lose a couple more points, so let's just do this. I don't care if that group lives with a few points. You can't do this, that's fine. Um, like I said, this descent sets up this. This threatens a cut of some sort, so. It doesn't actually poke any points out, though. Like I said, it just sets up this attachment. In Sente, right? Ah, oh, not quite Sente. So you're doing that, which means, what, I can throw in? I can actually get this now, I suppose. So he's preventing the attachment is what he's doing. I can poke in here. I can do this. I can't quite do that yet. I can do this now. I'm looking at this sort of thing, but I need him down a couple liberties before that'll work. It needs to be that if he connects itself Atari, and unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work. So this is a bluff. <laughs> that's all that move is. It's a bluff. 
It's saying, hey, I'm going to cut you because I have, I, I have the killing sequence. I am going to kill you. So you're preventing that by doing that. That's that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Throw in and then do that. He has this stuff, um, which means he's basically alive. So. Um, I'm just gonna be a little defensive. That's fine. I'm okay with being a little defensive right now. So he's solidifying a point there. Um, I will take this point from you. I will do this for you because that is a big sente point for me. I can now do this. I kind of want to take this one because that means I get this point then later. Because you can't do that without connecting first. So you're saving the coal thingy. You decide I just do that, you connect, I do that. I should probably come back and save this now, shouldn't I? This cut doesn't work, I just Atari it. This poke, I just connect. Sure. We're to that point where those are with it. If you connect here, I will also connect because I want to save that point. Here, connecting the co. I can get this for free now, I guess. Sure, you'll probably connect. There isn't really much else to do. Um, does this do anything? Does this cut work? No, not. He, she needs to respond, but it doesn't do anything. I can't do much with that. So, I think uh, I think we're done. So it's gonna come down to is this bigger than this? wonder all right I was actually surprised I thought he'd come back and try to live with those just for the hell of it see if it, see if he could all right so it's a hundred and something to his yeah that's pretty big 34 and a half points which is what the uh, gold panda one from a couple days ago should have been okie dokie um, let's go back and review it quick, see if there's anything. So two cross games in a row, now that I think about it. That guy that did the three threes and then the ten gen to this one. So he made an extension off of his, which is good. I did not do this correctly, I don't think. Um, I'm wondering if I should have done maybe something like this. And I don't know, try to make that sabaki shape again. That usually does better when he does this side. Although it kind of reverts to it, I guess. Um, I wonder if the move is this first. Um, but knowing him... I think I needed support of some sort. Or maybe I should have... Um, what, what did I do? I did this, right. And so he backed off. And then I wanted to save my corner... So maybe that uh, is, is ill-timed. I shouldn't have done this right away. What I should have done is, um, what should I have done? I should have taken my own extension or defended my corner uh, or approach. What should I have done? Disobeyed directly? Because if he gets into this running fight, uh, should I have extended here and let him get that? This, this works as the invasion book and then I, can, then I can do this probe and then this works because then I can do this he needs to do something like that which means I can then pull um, I can actually attach here and then pull this out and then if he does this sort of thing then I can uh, 
me off of that and start making some shape. So, yeah, what I should have done is, um, I th instead of this, I should have probably approached from this side. Because again, if he makes this extension now, I can I can invade this later. I don't need to do it right now. Um, and after he does that, I may um, approach over here actually. So I think I should have done this instead of attaching. That was too soon. Like I said, after then I can go back. So okay, that was too soon. Solidifying my corner, and then we get into this running fight. Made a table shape. I ended up cutting those stones off, which is kind of surprising. That was kind of a terrible sequence, but... And that! That right there! That's a weird move. I've never seen anybody do this on a low approach. A foot sweep? I've, I've seen. I've seen people defend like this and even take the 3-3. But that... I have no idea how to respond to that. That makes me want to just attach. Um, eh, maybe not attach. That doesn't look good. How about take this move? Huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna do this? I think for strange moves, strange moves in response are warranted. Because if you do that, that means I can do something like this and get into this running fight with that. Yeah. But I just backed off. I was trying to be a little peaceful at least. And we get into this running fight. All of that to build a wall over here so I can then do this. But I think after that I should have done this. I should have gone deeper. Uh, maybe even this. Uh, maybe not with that attachment. Something like that. If he does that. Can I do this? Oops. No, I can't because capture this, cut, extend. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. So there he did a foot sweep, which is what I expect. Excuse me. Make sure to edit this out. Okay. Okay. Resume. So yeah, I just sneezed. I'm sorry about that. Um, attacking this and then splitting it. Like I said, this double knight's move thing is kind of a weird shape. I was surprised he didn't connect. I mean, I can still cut it off, but this is a problem. Um, Excuse me. But this is still a problem. And now do you come back and fix this? If you do, then I, I probably turn here and I keep it separated. Because pushing and cutting doesn't do anything. Can't do that. Um, you can lean here, I suppose. I can get this Atari, but then it's self Atari, so I'd do this. Either way, this is going to get cut off. I'm just being defensive. Does that work? And then I have to push and cut. And you can do this. You can get all these reinforcing moves, I guess. And then connect. But then I can get this. Still keep you separated. This would have been a whole different game, man. Um, now you're kind of connected, but then I can capture these. This is all fantasy land. This is not what happened at all. Um, in retrospect, I think that would have been a better move. Because eventually I had to play it. Um, if he tries pushing, I, I can just do this and kill that stone. Right? No? Well. 
would have been a better move. This. And then I have to connect. It's still crappy shape. I don't know. Trapezoid shape. Yeah, right there. I think maybe this would have been better. Makes an empty triangle, but I'm going to make an empty triangle regardless. And that way, if he ends up doing this later, then I can actually get that move, and then it's filled. But um, going back to tacking this, getting some free forcing moves, pushing, making extensions. Yeah, that was a misclick. I did not want to do that right there. I wanted to um, poke at this some more first. <laughs> Eventually, that is a good starting move, but I wanted to get more moves like this in. This is then a key point later. Um, like I wanted to get this in eventually, and then you can do something like this. Oh baby! I mean, it, it, if these two liberties are filled, this is pretty dangerous for him because then I can get this Atari. Uh, well, anyway, that was a misclick. Oh, man, I didn't want to do that right then, but made the best of it, I guess. <clears throat> That was not a real co. Um, if we would have done that, I would have done this. Then this might have been a thing. Um, I would have a fix. Then you'd have had a fix. Um, what else was I expecting from you? I was kind of expecting this throw in here. Um, uh, I would have gotten this for free and sente then. That's what that's what I was expecting him to do. Then this becomes sente, of course. Or uh, this is reverse sente for later. Um, yeah, so all, all in all, that was a good, better result for me, I guess. End game, end game, end game. Um, nope, I didn't want to do that. Let's say I didn't do that. Let's say I did this. Is that shorting myself for liberty? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's not really shorting myself a liberty. It does make him do this, but then I can do this. So that might have been bigger than this. That reverse ante play. Because that doesn't work. Versus uh, him pushing here and then getting... Actually, I can't do that. That's right. I have to do this. Um, then I can do this. Because... So what is that? Uh, two four points versus just descending. Four points there versus one, two, these two points, three points. Because what happened was that, and eventually this filled. So uh, two points, no, okay, this was bigger. This was definitely bigger. I would have only gained those two points by doing that. All right, so that's fine. End game, end game, reverse ente play. That was an interesting move, that diagonal. That was good. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please do like it. If you really liked it, please share it. Wait, my brain just started going all across my area. And if you're new around here, subscribe. I do videos like this every day. So again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.